Sports and 24 hours after the funeral for beloved teammate Tessa Sutton. The Dunlap Eagles return to the soccer field tonight in Moline. Dunlap trailed Moline one zip on the emotional return when Elise Grant finds Devin Davis and Davis, one of Tessa's great friends, uses her left foot to score a beauty right there. To tie the game 1-1, great to see the girls celebrating. Moments later, Davis will convert a penalty kick. This one winds up in a 2-2 tie. A great effort tonight by the Dunlap Eagles for Tessa. That left foot, that was her. This right here, I play for my grandpa and I play for Tessa. And I think Tessa and my grandpa were both with me when I scored both those goals. Absolutely beautiful. Morton Soccer hosting Normal Community. The Irons scored first, but after that, it's all Potters. Abby Keltner ahead to Arley Akers. Akers makes their moves and blasts home the goal. Later, it's going to be Arley scoring again. Akers scores two beauties in the second half. Watch this shot. And the Potters are winners by a final score of 4-1. to one. Peoria Notre Dame Soccer hosting Chicago Power St. Charles East. The Irish played well. Claire Girard on a terrific run and gets off a great shot here, but denied by the St. Charles East keeper. Meanwhile, St. Charles East are good. Watch this rocket of a goal. They win it 2-zip. Ooh over the Irish. All right, to so baseball now. Illini Bluffs hosting Brimfield Elmwood. First standing, Toby Cooper is going to drive in Eric Pincock with this ground ball. One run was enough because let me introduce you to Josh Vaughn. A couple of college scouts were at this game. They had to be impressed. Vaughn had not one, not two, not 10, 20, 20 strikeouts. He got 21 outs. 20 of them were strikeouts. Wow, what a brilliant performance in the win. IBC taking on Pontiac in baseball. Ben Frerichs is making our highlights for a second straight night. Watch Ben. I don't need a glove. Bare hands it and makes the put out at first. Nice play by Ben right there. But Pontiac brought their bats. It was a hit parade for Pontiac. Camden Fenton a hit. Drew Wayman a hit. Lots of hits for Pontiac. They scored the 13-run pool and win it by a final of 13-4. to Not as much hitting between Pontiac and IVC on the softball diamond. Katie Petron, 14 strikeouts in the circle for IVC. Pontiac ace Elena Krause, six innings, no hits, nine strikeouts. Bailey Mashing right here, bunts in Maddie Gorley, and Pontiac goes home with the victory. Four to nothing. Olympia at Tremont in softball. We'll start with the, we're going to play small ball, coach says. Cat Springer, the bunt single. Yes, next batter up. It's Jordan Turner with the bunt single playing small ball. Meanwhile, Danica Frazier is going to hit one in the gap to score a run. Frazier was the star of this game. She drives in a run right here. She also tossed a no-hitter, getting a strikeout right here on the appeal. Olympia wins it. Three nothing. Oli is a winner.